In this video, I want to show you how you can update your Fitbit firmware to make sure that you've got the latest version as well as the latest Fitbit app version so that you can get the most out of using your Fitbit device up next. Hey guys, my name is Jeff and this video is actually part of a Fitbit tutorial series that I've done that includes all sorts of other helpful videos such as how to change your watch faces, how to fix syncing issues, how to use Spotify, and even how to start challenges for your uh, workouts with friends and more. So those videos are going to be linked down in the description below. But today we are talking about how to update uh, the firmware on your Fitbit device. So a couple of things real quick before we begin with doing any updates, just to ensure that uh, you eliminate any problems. One is that you want to make sure that your phone or device that you're going to be using has a battery charge of at least 50%. If not, you could plug it in, but make sure that it is charged. Same thing with your Fitbit device. You want to make sure that this particular device is charged. Like right now, I've got a charge of 92%. You want to make sure that that battery on your Fitbit device is at least charged to 50%. It would not be good if uh, you had low charge on your Fitbit device and then the thing just died on you in the middle of doing an update. So make sure that your batteries are charged on your devices. Other than that, to do the update, you want to make sure that you are connected to the internet. So I can see on my Google Pixel 3 phone that I've got the uh, Wi-Fi cone up in the corner and I have a good internet connection. So from this point, let's check and see what firmware we have installed on my device. If I go to my icon up in the top left, that's my account icon, I'll see all my information from my Fitbit account. And then right here is my Versa 3. I can click on that and this is my Versa 3 dashboard. This is actually going to show me um, the firmware version. I can see it right there. That's 36.128.4.17. If there was a update available for my Versa 3, there would be a pink banner showing up at the top of the screen. And I'll actually show you uh, here is what it looks like from a previous update that I've done. And you'll see that pink banner. So you can just tap right on that banner and that is going to start the update process. And then just follow the prompts. Probably will take a couple of minutes, but you'll be able to do the update to update your watch uh, to the latest version. And if this video is helping you out, take a second right now, smash that like button as it helps out this video as well as this channel. If you are not seeing that pink banner popping up, there is also another way that you can check to see if you're running the latest version. So under, uh, if we jump back to where you see on my Fitbit here, I'm under my device, my Versa 3. If I'm going to jump back to my account, page. This is where we were before. And I go down just below like the device, you'll see this settings area. There is a help and support. And if you click on that help and support, you'll see here um, all the information about your Fitbit stuff. And down at the very bottom, it'll say check for your device update. In this case, it's my Versa 3. So I'm going to click on that. And it's also showing me here that my Versa 3 is up to date. So I now know that I have the latest update for my particular device. And real quick, as we do in all the videos on this channel, we've hidden Tinker. He's our little hidden robot and he briefly pops up in all the videos on this channel. If you happen to spot him popping up in this video somewhere, take note of the timestamp or the amount of time into this video that you spotted him popping up and be the first person to let me know that timestamp down in the comments section below along with your best comment to get your name on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page, as well as a shout out in a future video. So Fitbit is constantly releasing new versions of their app. And in addition to updates for their devices, they're updating things on the app, like giving you more health metrics and things like that. So you want to make sure that you are updated to the latest version of the app. So how do you know if you're running the latest update of Fitbit OS? Well, that's a good question. Thanks so much for asking. I'm glad you asked that. Let's find out. So if you go to the account icon, which is in the upper left here, and we're going to go back to where we were before scrolling down to the help and support, this is going to show us the version of the app that we're using. And you can see here, this is version 3.37.1. And to check to see if there's any other updates, I'm going to go to my Google Play Store. So that's going to be right here because I'm on 
uh, I'm using my phone, my Google Pixel 3, and up in the search, I am going to search for Fitbit. So I already had typed it in, so it shows up in my history. I'll go to Fitbit, and now I can see the Fitbit app, and it's telling me to open it because I've already got it installed. But I'm going to click on Fitbit, and under this, it gives me all the information about the app, but right here it'll say what's new and when it was last updated on January 28th. I can click this little arrow. It gives me all the information on the updates. Looks like there was some bug fixes. Um, but at the bottom, it's also showing me version 3.37.1. And by going back to my Fitbit app, I know that's the version I'm running. So I do have the latest version uh, of the Fitbit app installed on my device. And that unlocks all the latest features and updates that Fitbit has done. So I'm interested to know, were you able to get your device updated? Did you do anything different? Um, let me know that down in the comments section below. And if you got some value out of this video, smash that like button as it helps out this video as well as this channel. And I'm constantly releasing new videos uh, on Fitbit updates, different Fitbit products. I've done comparison videos of the different Fitbit products. So if you click that subscribe button and that little notification bell, you'll get notified when those new videos release. And uh, I'll also leave links in the description to some of those other Fitbit tutorials that I've done. Maybe you're looking to install Spotify on your watch or figure out how to use it. I've done a video on that, and I'll be linking to that at the end of this video. So as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you guys in the next video.